What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com back with another Blender add-on tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to check out an add-on that allows you to quickly import SketchUp files into Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is a free importer that you can download and there's a link to it in the notes down below. There's a GitHub page in here that you can use um, in order to download that. Um, in addition, there's also a Blender artist thread where the developer talks about the importer. So you can use this to quickly import SketchUp models into Blender. And so there's a lot of reasons you could do this. Um, a, because some people are more comfortable modeling in SketchUp. There's also a number of models inside of the SketchUp 3D warehouse that you might want to bring into Blender. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about the specifics of that in a second. But for now, let's go into SketchUp. And what we're going to do is we're just going to download a file. And so this is a stove model that I've downloaded from the 3D warehouse. So you can download this model from the 3D warehouse. The nice thing about this model is the materials are already pretty well set up. So we're not gonna have to do a lot of material work inside of Blender. That's one thing is it's really hard to go from SketchUp to Blender and do a lot of your material work. So I would recommend doing as much of the setup as you can can inside of SketchUp before you send it over. And so first of all, the, the one thing that's going to be really important to this is this is working with a certain um, year of SketchUp files. And so for example, this one, if you were to download this and save it as a 2021 SketchUp file, it's not going to work. Um, for some reason, I think it's because SketchUp changed the file types a little bit in that newest version. That's not going to work. So what I always do um, to start off to get this to work is I do a file save as and I will save this as a 2017 version. So some of these other versions might work, but I know the 2017 version has been working for me. So I'm saving these as SketchUp 2017 versions. So that's the first thing I would try if this doesn't work for you. And so inside of Blender, what we're going to do is we're just going to install that add-on. So you're just going to go to edit preferences, and I've already installed it, but you just want to install that zip file. And so let's look for, there we go. So what you're going to look for is you're just going to search for SketchUp once you install it, and you just want to enable the import export SketchUp importer. So, and there's some buttons in here for documentation. So I believe this is just going to take you, that'll take you to the GitHub page, but then it's going to tell you to go to the Blender Artist community thread if you have any questions. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use this to import a SketchUp file. And so what this does is this adds a file import option inside of SketchUp. So if we go to File, click on Import, there's an option down here for Import SketchUp Scene. So then we're going to find the folder where our files are located and we want to find the model that we want to bring in. So this one, for example, this is a 2021 version of that stove. Notice how if I double click on that, nothing happens. It doesn't bring that in because this doesn't work with 2021 files. So what we want to do though is we want to find this 2017 version and bring this in. And so note that there are some options over here on the right hand side. So for example, you can bring in the camera view if you have multiple scenes saved in SketchUp as cameras. So you can also set this so whatever your last view was gets imported as a camera view if you want to do that. Um, there's a box in here for use existing materials. I always leave that checked. And then groups only and reuse groups. I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone for right now. Um, so what we want to do is we want to click on the button for import SketchUp. What that's going to do is that's going to bring this file in. And notice how this file actually looks pretty good. And so if we look at this, what this did is this brought in all of the different pieces of geometry as different, uh, different meshes inside of Blender. And so what that means is that means that now we have an object in here that we can edit, we can move around, um, scale it, all those different things. Now one tip that I have for you because this can get a little bit clunky, right? Because you've got all of these different objects in here, if you wanted to move them around, so if I wanted to like select these and move, or if I wanted to move this whole thing, what I would have to do is I would have to select them all. Otherwise I'd be moving the individual meshes, right? So I would have to make sure to select everything before I make any changes. One thing you might want to do instead is a lot of the time what I will do is I will go ahead and I will take this and I will parent it to an empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a shift A and I'm going to add an empty and I'm just going to bring in a plane axis and I'm going to move that so that it aligns with this corner. I'm going to turn my vertex snapping on real quick and then I'm just going to move this until it aligns with this corner. And so what I want to do is I want to start by selecting my empty and then 
I want to hold the shift key and drag a box over the rest of this object. That's going to select everything else. And then we just want to do a control P. That's going to parent this to the object you had selected when you selected everything else. So I'm going to set parent to object right here. Well, what that's going to do is that's going to take all of this and that's going to parent it to this empty. Meaning now, instead of having to select all of this different stuff, I can just click on the empty and move that around. And um, my model is going to be parented to that. So any movement that I apply to that empty is also going to be applied to the overall model. So that's one thing that can be really helpful. And if you don't want all these dotted lines in here, because these dotted lines are showing you that these objects have a relationship to this. If you don't want those, you can just go up to your settings and just turn off relationship lines, just like that. So a couple other things, um, like for example, editing materials. So editing materials can be really tricky inside of a SketchUp model because they're usually not modeled with quads, they're usually modeled with tries. And uh, so it's really hard to unwrap them or anything like that, which is why I really recommend trying to set up your materials as much as possible inside of SketchUp because um, making these changes can get really tricky. Now what you can do is you can tab into edit mode and select different faces like this and then go into your UV editing and you can, so you'll have these faces selected like this. You can come over here and you can select those and you can move them around and you can see how your material is gonna move around on the face as well. So by manually selecting faces, you can move things like this around really easily, um, but doing anything really complex with unwrapping is gonna be pretty much impossible just with the way that the meshes come in. So you can make some minor changes, but not necessarily major changes um, with the way this is set up. I mean, you can try, but it's gonna be a lot of extra work. Um, side note, I have no idea why this little block right here came in darker than everything else. It's not darker in the texture image. So if any of you know why that might come in a little bit darker, um, I'd love to hear the answer to that. All right, so another issue I've had is with some larger models, I've run into issues where sometimes the models won't import. And so we're gonna bring in a this Japanese clinic model into SketchUp from Neon, and I'm just gonna save that as a 2017 version. So just file, save as, um, Japanese house 2017. So if I am inside of Blender and I try to bring this model in, if I do a file, import, and I try to bring this in, it doesn't come in. It gives me an error message, right? So it gives me this big old error message. I'm not 100% clear what causes that, but on some larger models, what I've found fixes that is if you click on this and adjust your threshold right here. So if I take this threshold from 50 and I bump it up to 1,000 and then bring this file in, it'll come in okay. So I'm not really sure what causes that, if that's like the number of groups that are in the model or what, but by bumping that up, you may be able to bring in larger models. And so one thing I would highly, highly recommend is try to get your materials mapped on your faces properly inside of SketchUp before you export this. It's just a mess trying to come in here and fix all of these later. Like notice how the tiling just doesn't look very good on this. I mean, you could come in here and try to manually do some stuff if you wanted to using the UV editor, but it's just gonna be horribly time consuming. Like I could um, project this from my view and then come in here and adjust these so that they're not lined up, so that they're not exactly aligned in here, but you can see how it's just a giant mess because of the way everything is modeled. And it's just gonna take you a ton of time to unravel all of that. So I would really recommend inside of SketchUp, fixing all of those texture issues like tiling in your model itself before you bring them in. It's just gonna be a lot simpler. So that's kind of an overview of how you can use this free add-on to import SketchUp files. Um, there's another one I'm taking a look at that's a paid importer, but I think it has some better features inside of the Blender market. So we may talk about that in the future. But um, I'd love to hear what you think about this video in the comments down below. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, so make sure to check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.